I've been asked to write a poem in honour of my fellow Dark Poetry Society member, Trisha McCourt. Trisha is a very talented poet, a moderator on DPS, and she is very supportive of other poets. However, although her eyesight has been suffering for some time, she has recently been told that she would become totally blind without private surgery. For a poet who is inspired by the beauty of the world around her, this has been a very painful blow to come to terms with. Therefore, Dark Poetry Society would like to ask that you pledge a donation for Trisha to help our community raise $6,500 in order for Trisha to be able to afford this life-changing and essential surgery. We know that people can't always offer very much, but even a few dollars would make a big difference and Trisha would appreciate it very much. Details of how to pledge a donation are contained within this post. So this is the poem that I've written in honour of Trisha, and it's a villanelle, and it's called Seeing is Believing. There is a truth so deep we must realise. It's not all about what we feel with our heart. We often forget what we see with our eyes. There are many things we try to disguise. We analyse, discern and pull things apart. There's a truth so deep we must realise. What if we couldn't see a glorious sunrise, or beauty, or loved ones, or nature, or art? We often forget what we see with our eyes. When we no longer see, do we intuit the lies? Our inner senses can fail us from the start. There's a truth so deep we must realise. We have our eyesight and all it supplies. But what if one day it has to sadly depart? We often forget what we see with our eyes. If our world disappears and our vision dies, many challenges for us would surely impart. There's a truth so deep we must realise. When an eye can't see, an eye still cries. Blindness dictates that we have to restart. We often forget what we see with our eyes. If your freedom to gaze makes you agonise, imagine a life that is shadowed by the dark. There's a truth so deep we must realise. We often forget what we see with our eyes. Thank you. Good morning from Jeff. <clears throat> I'm going to read a <clears throat> short poem called My Eyes Are Dim. It's a simple dedication to Trish, who I'm sure by now you're all aware has some major problems requiring treatment which uh, she's finding difficult to afford. Anything, therefore, that you can do to help or pledge towards Trisha's treatment would be really appreciated, I'm sure. So, here we go. My eyes are dim. Nobody could have prepared or warned me, either for how long or to what extent, failing light increasingly blurred the images of impending darkness. It was no sudden step change, but just a gradual erosion of a capability that neither lenses nor spectacles could possibly correct or repair. A sensory handicap I will just have to learn to live with in this new life of blurry darkness. You, my dear, I hope, will become my eyes, my coordinator of other senses, my sanity amongst the most important. I can do still so much, manage life through touch, taste and what I hear and smell, but still lacking any real sort of independence has to be the nearest thing to a living hell. History provides that blindness is no excuse for underachievement, heightened sensitivity, sharpened awareness, uncluttered perspective actually enriches even helps us to improvise, improve and invent. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am going to be doing a spoken piece, but
but before I do, I wanted to talk about a dear friend and amazing poet, Trisha McCourt. Trisha found out that she is losing her eyesight and desperately needs medical surgery that will cost her about $6,000. Unfortunately, Trisha cannot cover this cost. So we have set up a GoFundMe account to help Trisha and asking everyone to donate anything they can, even $10 will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Sunset, a world heavy with scars, guided by fear, drifting through the unknown, heart sends up a flare. Lost in emotions, edges worn at the seams, Sunset opens her eyes, woven in mystical dreams. Through darkness it peaks, in technicolor it sings, unique in its beauty, ethereal wings. Lavender breeze, echoes sweet notes, wind chimes serenade from above, a whimsical sunset, celestial image of love. Magic is real, the sky comes alive, brimming with love songs, the soul's free to fly. Hello everyone. I'm recording this as part of a DPS event to help raise funds for our friend Trisha's eye operation. As you know, sadly, she is rapidly losing her sight and is already registered blind. So please, I'm urging you to donate and or take part in all the fundraising raising events sorry, that will be going on so that our friend can come back to share our beautiful poetry with us. This poem as a, I'm about to read you is um, not mine. It was written and sent to me by Nardin, who is kind enough to let me read it here, as I thought um, it was beautiful. Cheers, Nardin. Okay, here we go. Most things in life we see and feel, but when we can't, well, is it real? A reality that some do share, a sadness, then they come to bear. To see the beauty in this life and reach to touch it in our hands. But to some, it's not that easy. For on our side, it then demands. But what if the nature of our sight was restricted to the pale grey? Where would all the colours go? And would their memory stay? For all the beauty in this life, of course. It can be seen. But to lose that sensibility left somewhere lost between is not only a horrible thing it's cruel and it's mean thank you once again please um take part donate do whatever you can and uh, i thank you very much i'm bringing this video today in aid of a friend trisha mccourt who's going blind due to cataracts um i'm hoping but, but, but by doing this video that you people can um, donate and, and help out as much or as little as you can you know not everybody's made the money I understand that but um, you know if, if we all pull together we, we, we can help Trisha achieve her, her goal thank you very much the poem I'm going to read is called Redacted there's an abyss that awaits for a writer of truth when no sight of one's visions quest a crumbling wall before their eyes as their passion slowly withers and dies. Unable to see the ink as it snakes its way across the page, conjuring selfless meaning. To lose sight of the engine of the world, the arts and all of its wonderful progression. It's like the ink has spread and blackened the page, the view has been redacted. Their page against the machine all gone as their sight slowly fades away. A dream that once seemed deemed for success now falls apart as the tears bleed the very soul, remembering all those poems in our heads, yet unable to hold them in view. Imagine being unable to see the smiles on the faces of the ones you love, hoping for a little help from the, from the world that's struggling to cope. We can, make, we can be the change for a brighter view, 
to help another reach their goal. We can show the world with, with a little sharing. We can see our vision unfold. Thank you. And I'm sorry about the shaking, but it's the only way I could do it. Thank you, Blade. As some of you may be aware, um, another poet and a dear friend of mine and many other poets that I know is losing her sight. Now we need to raise funds for her to enable to have the surgery she needs in order to regain her sight before it's gone forever. So this is for Tricia. Torn, ignored and forlorn, forfeiting this mission of submission and like an ignition, a catalyst, red mist as I curl my hands into a fist and punch my way through this paper bag with persistence, but the resistance is tougher than any prison sentence I'm fighting against my own existence, a battle, humanity, lining up like cattle, banging against the fence till it rattles, forced and engorged, these unpaid whores are nesting, infesting, testing a conveyor belt of mindfulness, I am clued in with my mindfulness, I rise, Watch me levitate while I gravitate to the masses and lactate on the plate of the great. I sit and pulsate full of hate. But I'll wait. I'll wait. Let time dictate how much I have to fixate on why humanity should not procreate. Look at you standing there with that glare. That inconsiderate piece of shit kind of stare. Sometimes it seems you're too much to bear. King of your disillusional air. No hope for me. Not even a prayer. Fall to your knees, but nobody cares. You're disgusting. You're evil. You're everything I hate. So do me a favour. Get out of my face. Disgracefully, you race, but it's all done with the haste. You're invading my space. I get lost without trace. Back underground with the creatures that crawl beside death. And despite your call, I'll turn my back. Can you see the knife? You backstabbing runt, you ruined my life. Well, you tried your hardest, but it wasn't good enough. Yeah, okay, you beat me but you weren't going to defeat me. Eat me next time that you meet me, weakly greeting me sweetly, triggering my PTSD. Slowly but surely, I'm starting to feel free. Like a superhero, I'm rising steadily. No battle can I see facing forward. It's behind me. The Sensual Rainbow Against an azure blue sky, crisp as a mountain spring, Splashed onto a face. With cartoon clouds of soft cotton wool, dampened as if left in morning dew, lies my sensual rainbow. Whose perfect colours as some fantastical bridge made by the stonemasons of God, linking earth and heaven. Each hue one note of angelic chorus, together a perfect harmony to lift even the darkest from despair and drudgery. Red as my most favoured wine delights my mouth and warms my throat. Orange flames of fireside evenings equal warm my skin and soul. Yellow's richest butter brings good taste to fresh-baked bread. Greenest fresh-cut grassy fields, smooth silky stalks delight the nose. Blue the mountain's water once again, we drink and are refreshed. Indigo the ocean deep. Recalls the call of majestic whale. Violet, last, the dream state calm, the sunset as I fall to sleep. And as I drift, I live to you the sensual rainbow of my day, sent with my love, my hopes, my dreams to share your own with me one day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Got one more by me to come up and then 
hopefully we are having a few more of these events to get the word out because as you've heard through these videos and the posts on Dark Poetry Society Trisha McCourt is losing her sight this is a terrible thing for anybody but for a poet it seems like it's especially devastating our work lives through our senses the things we see and hear the touch and taste they feed the emotion of every piece that we write so please if you can be the shining light in the darkness a beacon of hope the hand that holds and give whatever you can it will help thank you the view murky and unclear Darkness is near, nothing but shapes in the midst of fear. In the misty air, nothing is clear, but the crack of broken branches from footsteps I hear. Noise and sounds close to me closing in, the smell of woodland ground, the touch of cool air on skin. I'm free, but sinking, mind is overthinking. I can taste electricity in the air, it tastes like anger and pain, a storm is brewing. I can smell the rain, can feel its humidity, wet and clinging, like cellophane dampening my brain. The footsteps get closer, the snapping sounds like it's right behind. If I turn, will I see a shroud? A figure looming through my clouded vision, will I scream aloud? I feel a hand on mine, calming, peaceful and kind. Through the darkness into which I'm thrown, a voice with a helpful tone. With a light shining, a beacon home. Thank you.